Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K20 Pro. Yes, we are talking about MIUI 13 on this wonderful device. I've been using it since the last three to four days. It's time for a review and probably a speed test later. But before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. As you can see over here, we are talking about MIUI 13 and you know, without making things clickbait or anything of that sort, let me tell you this, this is not real official MIUI 13. It is basically a port ROM, which is based on MIUI 12.5.6, but it has almost all the elements and features of MIUI 13. And I have been using it since the last two to three days. You do see that I have a SIM card on this device. So although the K20 Pro is an old phone, I still use it substantially with one of my SIM cards. Now let's go ahead and talk about the complete review. Now the first good thing that I noticed over here and remember when we talk about the 12.5.6 version for this particular phone, it was not released globally. It was not released in Europe or India. This version was only available to the Chinese variant that is the Mi 90 Pro and it is actually one of the only enhanced editions of MIUI that were available to this device. So with a base which is that stable and smooth if you give us MIUI 13 features it actually makes for a pretty decent combination and you will see that towards the end of the video when we talk about the benchmark numbers, battery life and all the other aspects. So the moment you boot into this particular ROM you will see that it is actually MIUI 13. So let's actually go to settings over here. Let's go to my device. Now, what it says over here is that this is a weekly beta, right? Now, if you go to what's new, you will, of course, see you don't have permission to access the change log of this particular update. Now, moving on, let's go to all specifications. So what you see over here is Redmi K20 Pro 6 GB RAM, all the specifications of this device. Android version is 11. The security patch though is the 1st of December 2021. Now we are in the month of March and this is quite old as far as the security patch is concerned. But remember this device stopped getting security updates in you know August or September of 2021. So this is absolutely better than what it was earlier. Now first things first, the moment you boot into the home screen, you will see that you have the MIA 13 wallpapers. To the left, you have the new app vault, which looks decent. And once you allow this ROM to settle down, like you give it a day's time, it actually performs pretty decent. You know, there are no major UI lags, which is a common experience if you are using MIA 12.5.1 Indian version, right? And even if you launch applications, as you can see, the transition animations are there, the app icon animations are there. Remember, this is a device which is about two to three years old. It has a 60 hertz AMOLED panel, so don't expect 90 or 120 hertz smoothness on this particular phone. But apart from that, it's doing a pretty decent job. And the good thing is all the features in the camera are working fine. If you use the front camera with animation, the front camera motor is working fine as well. If you swipe from the top to bottom, you do have the control center, although this is the old one. This is not the new, you know, MI control center which looks like uh, iOS and has a brightness slider and a volume slider over here. One good thing to notice over here, it does have the new performance and battery consumption toggle which allows you to you know use the device in performance mode or battery saving mode and stuff like that. So that particular toggle is there and the moment you enable it, you will get a notification over here, improved device performance. So these things are present and they do say that, you know, this is more or less almost the complete MIUI 13 experience. Now, if you press and hold over here or you swipe over here, you will see that you have the wallpapers option in which you do have super wallpapers and you also have your MIUI 13 glass or molten glass wallpapers, which look great and they also work fine. So, you know, no major problems there whatsoever. So if you like these wallpapers and you like MIUI, you know, this is what you need to do. You need to probably go ahead and give this ROM a try. But there are a lot of other aspects which are a sort of a letdown. But remember, even in the official list of devices like the Poco X3 Pro, the Mi 11X, which are getting officially MIUI 13, this thing is broken. The reason I say broken is despite having MIUI 13 as a software, you have widgets from MIUI 12.5. So that is really, really, you know, sort of annoying. If you go to the settings option, you have usual stuff over here. The launcher in question is the system launcher. 
and moving on if you go to app watch settings you do have a certain options over here you don't have google feed to the left of course because this is based on the chinese version you can arrange the you know icons horizontally that option is present and even if you go to the multitasking menu you will notice that the animations are pretty smooth and subtle which is a good thing if you see over here you have 2.8 gb of 6 gigabytes available floating windows feature is present and working absolutely fine now one thing to notice over here is this rom comes with majisk pre-installed and the moment i go to update majisk it gets stuck over here so if you actually want root access you might want to go ahead and flash the latest majisk version manually now moving on let's go to play store and talk about some important stuff if you go to play store settings you will see that the device is not certified although widevine l1 certification is present and it works fine now i've heard you there will be an install video for this particular rom coming soon so stay tuned for that if you talk about the security application it is one of the latest versions that we have over here so 6.0.0 is the version that also means that when you go to the game turbo over here you get the new game turbo which, about which i recently made a video and almost all the features are there apart from this feature which allows you to you know customize a lot of aspects now those features are not available on poco x3 pro and a lot of other devices reason being those features are targeted by xiaomi and poco towards high-end devices right so you do get the new security update you do get the new game space but some features are missing here and there now even if you go to the battery section over here you do see that the performance toggle is there you do see that the phone has been on battery for 20 hours and 24 minutes i've barely used the device but the standby time the screen on time that you get in extreme or high usage is four to five hours for a two-year-old device on a port rom software that is pretty decent i would say that's pretty decent experience now moving on if you actually go to the privacy dashboard you still sort of have the 12.5 dashboard nothing new or nothing fancy over here but cohesively as a ui as a whole this rom is working well you can actually use it as a daily driver if safety net is none of your concern one another thing to note over here is it does come with a lot of chinese bloatware so manually you will have to go ahead and uninstall those applications one by one now let's actually go to settings and let's see if any of those mia 13 features are present over here you do have your always on display and all these you know options which are present since 12.5 they are available and they work just fine if you go to display you do have the dc dimming or anti flicker mode which is available and works absolutely fine the color scheme option font settings all these options were present and they are still there and they work absolutely okay now moving on if you go to you have mi ai which is you know useless in the global market you do have memory extension over here now it says 3 gb of ram extra i don't think that feature is working if they could get it to work it would be great now apart from this you do have the one-handed mode so let's go ahead and enable this now remember this feature was working absolutely fine in the mi 11x but over here it is a sort of a struggle so we will not pay a lot of attention to that now moving on if you go to special feature you have tap plus which is yeah you can actually go ahead and use this i've tried it but it doesn't work it's basically a hit or miss you have something called as miui lab now a lot of these features are china specific so i would not recommend you to go ahead and give them a try but you do have video toolbox so you have the video toolbox over here as you can see so the miui 13 universal toolbox or the you know sidebar is missing in action over here so that is something that they could have added and apart from this all the google services things and stuff are working absolutely fine now there is a way to install this rom and then enable google play services which is a step-by-step -step procedure which you would have to follow in order to go ahead and get the complete experience for which i will be making a complete review the camera as i said works absolutely fine and before we end the video let's go ahead and talk about the benchmark numbers so for that we will go to gallery which is the updated version if we talk about the cpu throttling test the cpu throttled to 82 percent of its max performance and the average score was 162 one 40 gips now this is a little disheartening because on aosp roms you do get quite a lot of performance compared to what it is on this particular rom now if we talk about antutu you see that the antutu score on this rom is not that great just like cpu throttle test now let's go ahead and talk about the last test that is important that is geekbench now in geekbench the single core score was 729 and the multi-core was 2728 so from my understanding the usual you know ui scrolling and all the basic usage is absolutely fine but as far as hardcore performance is concerned the performance doesn't look that great 
But if you're looking for the MIUI 13 experience look and feel, this is a ROM that you should probably try. And if you really want me to make an install video, let me know in the comment section. So let me know what do you think about this ROM and this particular review. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. See you in the next one.